ROC curves or raw curves are used for visualizing the performance of machine learning models. For this tutorial, I'll focus on binary classifiers. I assume that you have some knowledge about ROC curves. If you don't, I'll leave some useful links in the description box. So just use them to read about ROC curves and get a better understanding of them. A typical ROC curve will be like this. And then you have the false positive weight on the X axis. False positive weight is also known as specificity. Okay, in some tutorials, you also see FPI. They all are refer to the same thing. The Y axis has the true positive weight, which is also known as the sensitivity. You can also find TPR being used. Okay, so they refer to the same thing here. You should also know that ROC curves are plots of probabilities. I may mention that ROC curves are used for visualizing the performance of machine learning models. So, uh, machine learning models, the performance are obtained and during the evaluation stage. The evaluation stage is a later stage. Okay, so that one comes in after you've acquired your data, done processing, um, had your training, and then fed the model with the training subset. Okay, so so let's run this to get the ROC curve. Okay, so nice one. We have the ROC curve here, and the ROC, the AUC value is zero point eight zero. Okay, so let me also use this to quickly explain um, the AUC okay so a model with AUC nearer or closer to one is a model which is performing very well so that's a good model that is an indication of a good model okay so this means that the model is able to um, distinguish or is able to predict correctly the outcomes it's able to uh, do a good separation of the outcomes that is what um, a good uh, model will do and so the AUC closer to one will indicate as such. If the AUC value is closer to zero, that means the model is not good, okay? It's performing poorly in terms of being able to distinguish between the outcomes. But here, it's 0.8, so it's, it's, it's close. It's a good model.